My message to the team after the game was that um, regardless of what conference you're in in Division One basketball, this is what a conference game looks like. And it doesn't look like this every night. Uh, there will be nights where offensively we play really, really well. And, uh, you know, maybe we can get away from somebody. But in general, conference games are going to be five-point games, one-possession games, um, and we need guys to play well to win them. Uh, certainly our defense in the second half was a big reason that we won, meaning that we did play man-to-man -man for a lot of the second half, and uh, we were able to get some stops. A lot of people made free throws down the stretch, including Ryan Rooms and Antoine. And um, I told Ryan in the locker room after the game that I've coached a lot of great players, and um, the second half that he just put forth was the best I've ever seen as far as just a second half of basketball. Uh, he was dominant and uh, 25 and 18, great numbers. Jeff, winning ugly, but a win is still a win, second game in the A-10. To have 10 on the year and then start the conference season with a six-point loss and a grinded out win like tonight, what does this mean for the program going forward? Well, so we didn't have a whole lot of wins like this in the non-conference schedule, meaning we won games by double figures. And so we're going to have to get used to games like this because you can't run away from everyone in the Atlantic 10. They're going to be grinds. And um, so you need defensive stops, which we got in the last eight, eight minutes of the game. Uh, you need to make free throws down the stretch. You need to have better value for the ball in the second half than you did in the first. And then you need dominant performances from your seniors. And that's what Ryan gave us in the second half. First half was a little bit of a quicksand game. 12 turnovers cut down to six in the second half. What improvements did you see after the locker room that you were encouraged with going to Sunday? Well, I mean, I think the biggest difference in the second half was simply the fact that Ryan Rooms went and got every ball off the glass. His teammates did do a better job of throwing the ball into the post in the second half. We got the ball in the, in the post in the first half too, but in the second half he got it over and over. But then the ones he didn't get in the post, he went and got it uh, off the glass. Ryan, what's it like to hear after, I mean, 25 points more off the career high, 18 rebounds injured, career high, What's it like to not only have those numbers, but then to hear the praise from your coach in the locker room and then hear as the reward for your hard work time? I mean, it feels real good. Um, at the end of the day, I just want to win. So, you know, I, I don't really, it doesn't matter if I got a career high, career rebounds. I just want to win. So I can have zero points and zero rebounds. As long as we win, I'm happy. More so just, you know, hearing that if Coach Newbar has been in this game a long time and to put your second half against any that he's seen by a player. Is that maybe, maybe you don't need the motivation, but is that still nice to hear that the effort is what you're being praised for? I mean, it's, it's, it's real nice to hear. It's real nice to hear that, you know. Um, never really heard that <laughs> for the past few years, you know. But it's real nice to hear my coach, you know, want me to go out there and praise me for, you know, accomplishing my goals and doing how I do on the court. Coach, uh, the second game without Joe and Antoine gets another start and he came up with some huge steals at the end of this one. I believe it was uh, nine assists that he yeah. ends up with. And what can you say about his performance tonight? Well, we need, um, we need contributions from a lot of people. Obviously, different people can do different things. Everyone has a different strength, and Antoine did pass the ball very well today with his nine assists. Uh, just looking at this box score, I think the biggest thing to note is that other than Ryan Rooms, not a single player played well offensively. So. Defensively, we had a lot of guys give amazing effort, but if you go up and down this box score, I mean, I don't think there's anyone that's going to say, man, I really did a terrific job at the offensive end. So that's why I use the uh, phrases I'm using to describe how Ryan Rooms played, is because no one else could find a way at the offensive end, and he carried this team. Any, any update on Joe? Uh, so Joe's got an ankle injury, and we don't know when he'll be back. And it's a LaSalle team that, that fights UMass hard, and even though they've struggled. Is there need to be any stress to the team about how important conference games are or at this point of the season, is that something that's already ingrained with them? It's not about how important they are because every game in our program is important. What it's about is we're going to have conference games that are going to be like this. I mean, they're going to be close games where you have to guard and you have to make free throws down the stretch. Uh, you have to do one or two things in, in close possession games. Um, and then you know, the other thing we're going to learn from this game is our best offense, and we've said this to the team before, our best offense is Ryan Rooms going and getting it off the glass. Our second best offense is Ryan Rooms getting the ball in the post, and so we're going to continue to build on that idea. Ryan, you spoke to You guys have lined 34 times, make 26 of them. They go 10 of 15 on the other end. How much is that going to help you? Well, it's important because, first of all, LaSalle has struggled to guard the arc this year. However, in general, 
John Giannini's teams always guard the arc really well. So the point is, it was a struggle from the perimeter. So you've got to find other ways to score. And uh, around the basket, getting fouled was a big way to score. Ryan, you've mentioned that the confidence that you've had this season has been part of the biggest factor of why your numbers have risen to where they have compared to previous years. Is this the most confident that you can remember ever being playing? Just maybe the sport even? Um, no, not really. Uh, when I was in high school, I mean, it doesn't really matter now, but when I was in high school, I had a, 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 also had a great coach, Ron Clario. He, he pushed me as, just like Coach Nubar pushes me. Um, and he gave me the most confidence I've ever had in my life. So. This is now Fabies feel similar to that? I mean, yeah, it's definitely similar because, you know, look at the numbers. I've, I've, I've grown as a person, as a player. But um, I just had two great coaches in my life, you know, Coach Newbar being one of them. So it just pushed me to, the, to my most, to my uh, maximum limit. Coach, any feelings about facing your alma mater tonight? You, you know, it's a question. Um, so I've certainly thought about it because the other uniform said was Sal. And, for example, we were in this film room with our team and we were showing – clips of their players and you could see LaSalle on the jersey so it certainly brought back, brought back memories and thoughts that I hadn't had for many years um, you know I don't know that I treated this game any differently I don't I don't feel like I did I just treated it like a conference game where our team needed to compete how about uh, the winning streak here at home right now impressive good um, I mean yeah it feels real good to be winning at home you know we definitely we never won uh, we haven't, haven't ever been <laughs> undefeated at home, ever. So, you know, it feels real good. It's, a good, uh, it's great for our, our team. It's great for our uh, organization. So hopefully we just keep uh, keep it rolling, get more 18 wins, and hopefully we get to uh, see what we do in the 18 tournament. I know, you, I know it's still early in the game, but two conference games in and the way this team has jumped, like they have, the way it has. Is there something special brewing here? that hasn't been seen in a long time. If you're asking me, we hope so. I mean, that's what we talk to our team about. So we have three goals as a team. The only one that we talk about publicly is that we want to be the most improved team in the country. So we are on our way to doing that. We actually have a chance to do that. We're in that conversation. We have two other goals, and those goals are set incredibly high. And so, yeah, we're hoping to do special yeah. things.